another episode of Difficult Verses. Today we are very blessed and honored to have His Eminence Metropolitan Yusuf, Metropolitan of the Diocese of uh, Southern United States. Thank you, Sayyidina, for blessing us with your presence today. Today our verse is from the first epistle of St. Peter, chapter 3 and verse 19, by whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. Our challenging verse is from content. Uh, what are the imprisoned spirits referred to by St. Peter in this chapter and when they were preached? We know that the Lord Jesus Christ, after he died on the cross, he descended by his spirit, the human spirit, into Hades. Mm. When he descended into Hades, he preached the good news of salvation to the right to the righteous who lived righteously um, and they went to Hades because the paradise was closed. So he preached the good news that the paradise is open and now he descended to Hades to take all these souls with him from Hades to the paradise of joy. But the difficult actually verse is verse 20 when he said and preach it to the spirit in prison yeah so the spirit are the spirit of people who died on the hope of resurrection and salvation in prison means in hades who formerly were disobedient when once the divine long suffering waited in the days of noah while the ark was being prepared mm -hmm. in which a few that is eight souls were saved through water so here that is a difficult verse because he said the spirit in prison who formerly were disobedient, disobedient. Mm -hmm. and then he spoke specifically about those who were disobedient when Noah was building the ark and the divine long suffering waited you know patiently in the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. So we know that God, the Lord Jesus Christ, when he descended to Hades, he preached only to the souls that died on hope of resurrection. Yeah. But what about the souls who were disobedient? Mm -hmm. Uh, there are many fathers who interpreted this verse, but uh, I like to highlight the interpretation of St. Athanasius and St. Cyril of Alexandria. Both of them said the word formerly disobedient. So at the beginning, when Noah was building the ark, they disobeyed. And they refuse to yeah. believe that God will drown and, uh, and flood the world. Mm -hmm. But after Noah entered the, the ark, mm -hmm. and the ark was closed, you know, and they saw the rain start to fall down, and the water start to increase, at this moment, they realized that they were wrong, and they repented. Although they died in the water of the flood, you know, mm -hmm. but they repented. Uh, so yes, only eight souls saved Inside through ark. the ark, but there are some people who died in the flood. They repented. Uh, that's what St. Athanasius and St. Cyril of Alexandria said when they saw the flood uh, is come. So these people also were included in the preaching of our Lord Jesus Christ when he descended in the spirit to Hades. So he preached to these souls who formerly were disobedient Disobedient. while the ark was built, but mm -hmm. when they repented, God actually, that's why he said the long suffering. So even those who repented after Noah closed the ark, uh -huh. they were saved. So they still earn their eternal life. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was easy actually to explain. So um, as Noah preached righteousness, suffered unjustly, 
and rescued those who were with him. So also does Christ. Christ descended to those in darkness and death, that light might shine on them, and he might deliver them from death to eternal life. Thank you, everyone, for being with us. Thank you, Sayyidina, for blessing us with your presence. See you next time with another episode with His Eminence, Metropolitan Yusuf, Metropolitan of the Diocese of Southern United States. See you next time. Thank you.